So I'm here with Brock, and we are excited because his birthday is coming up really soon, and we- And when it gets dark, and then it gets sunny, then it will be my surprise birthday. <laughs> it doesn't really sound like it'll be a surprise, but it'll be your birthday. We're making another pinata so we can show you. Yes, we are making a homemade pinata because that's what Brock requested for his birthday. And we're gonna show you guys how we make our pinata. All right, let's do it. All right, you guys, you know on my channel I don't normally do DIYs, but I thought that this would be a really fun one because I remember doing this as a child and loving it. Most of the stuff that I'm gonna use today you can usually find around your house, but if you can't, like me, because I didn't have anything, I did a quick Target run and found everything that I needed. So let me show you. Surprise! Surprise! Okay, so we're gonna start with balloons. Balloons, you can pick whichever kind you want, big, medium size, Small water balloon size, that'll work too. Wait a second, that's not, what? You stir the balloon. Is that how we do it? <laughs> and then we're gonna make a paper mache. Now I asked the kids, I got their permission, if I could use their old homework to make my paper mache. Cause typically you can use newspapers or whatever, but I just, I had so much of their old homework around that I was just gonna throw away anyway or burn or whatever. So we're gonna use that for our paper mache. I got their permission, don't worry, this isn't important stuff. I don't think anyway. That will be the first layer of the pinata. Then we're going to use this plain white paper, the Up It Up print paper recycled from Target, and we're going to use that and for the second to, layer of the pinata. And, and we're gonna keep stirring up our balloons. Make sure you stir those balloons, it's important. You don't necessarily have to have the second layer of your pinata white, but that's just how we're choosing to do it so that we can have a nice clean slate to paint on. And we're also going to decorate. We have the paint, all different colors and the paint brushes, because you gotta have brushes when you're painting. And I got some tape to tape on the string or to tape any holes that might happen because I don't know what I'm doing. Now, you don't have to decorate with paper mache, but if you want to, you get some tissue paper like this, all different colors, and we're gonna cut them into little squares and use to decorate our pinata. And then, of course, you're going to need some string. And I just got this string from an old kite that didn't work anymore. Another important thing that we have is the glue. Now, you can use regular glue and mix it with water, like I have some here, the Elmer's glue. I'm gonna use this glue to glue on the tissue paper. And we're going to make homemade glue with flour and water. And what you need is just one part flour to two parts water. I have one cup flour and two cups water. And then we're gonna whisk it. Yep, and then we're gonna whisk it. <laughs> Would you stop putting the whisk up your nose? Should we get started? Oh, I forgot the most important thing to show you. What's the most important thing? Uh, <laughs> candy. candy! 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 Yeah! Candy! Yummy, yummy, yummy. How to eat? Okay, <laughs> that's gonna go inside the pinata, so let's not eat it all yet, but I'll let you have a few pieces. Let's get started! Sucker. Homework. <laughs> Math homework. Looks like Avi got 100%. Good job, honey. You want to try to make these long strips like that that we can cover around the balloon. Okay, we've got a pretty good amount of homework strips. Now we're going to make the glue. So go ahead, Brock, and dump in the water. Do you want to stir or do you want me to stir? Um, me stir. No. Uh oh. Sounds like somebody's upset. We have a little buddy joining us. Are you gonna help us with the pinata? Sure, as long as I get to eat candy. <laughs> Did you stir it up really good? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's show them how we make this paper mache. Okay, paper mache face slam. Okay, so we're just gonna show you guys how we do it. We actually have ones that we made yesterday because you have to put a layer on and let it dry for about eight hours and then you put another layer on and let it dry. So you have to start a couple days before you actually want your pinata to be ready. Just side note. Okay, so this is what you're gonna do over the whole balloon. You don't wanna leave any spots uncovered, and then you're gonna let it dry for eight hours. But we already did that, so I'm gonna show you what we have. These are our balloons that we have done twice. 
We did once with the, the homework layer and second with the white layer, and they are ready to paint. We are ready to paint. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ooh, no, 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 don't eat it. Remember? <laughs> oh, yeah. You want to be done painting and eat candy? I'd be okay with that. That's awesome. It's you know, Spider-Man. You know who it reminds me of? Spider-Man. It kind of reminds me of Big Hero 6 a little bit. It does? Yeah, doesn't it? All right, you guys, I think we're done. Here's mine. I just, you know, it's kind of just a summer collage of fun. Got these little things, these little poofs. And Brocky. I love yours. And he decided to put one little green one right there. And then spider. Yeah, of course. So now for the tricky part. We're gonna take the scissors and we're gonna cut the balloon out and then we're gonna make a hole in the top, put a string on it and put the candy in it and then we'll be ready to go. Are you excited? It's my birthday. <laughs> we're gonna try this. I don't know how this is gonna go down. It might not work out very well. It's pulling off the sides. I can feel it pulling off the sides. Oh! Whoa! That was cool! <laughs> now put the candy in. Yeah, now we can put the candy in. All right, what do you think, guys? Cool. First one. Maybe we'll make the whole little. Oh, perfect! Okay, you guys, it's time for Brock's balloon. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm gonna snip it just a little bit and it'll start pulling off. You guys hear that? Yeah. It sounds like Rice Krispies. It sounds like popcorn popping up. You're right, it does sound like popcorn. Whoa, hold on to it, don't let it fall. Okay, try to pull it out very softly. Good job, should we cut the hole bigger? Yeah. Put, I'll cut the balloon a little more. There you go. I can see a <laughs> you can see the homework. <laughs> cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can. <laughs> okay, for the string part, we just cut two little holes on the side of the bigger hole, and now we're just putting candy in it, and we're going to use this to hang it up. Brock has told me he doesn't really want to break his yet, so I'm going to let him break mine. Do you want to break mine? Yeah. <laughs> One side note, if you guys want to be able to put more candy in your pinata and have more people hit it without it breaking, you're going to need to put more layers of paper mache on. All right, we're ready to hang the pinata, and I did have to reinforce it with the duct tape because we have a lot of candy in this bad boy. All right, are you ready, Brock? Yeah. All right, thank you guys for joining us for our pinata making, and thanks to Target for making our summer projects easier and more fun. Are you ready, Brock? Yeah. All right, let's go. Hit it! Happy birthday, Brock! Happy birthday to me! <laughs>